building a new streaming PC can be both exciting and entirely overwhelming with so many different components to consider. The two most crucial being the CPU and the GPU, the processor and the graphics card. If you don't pair them correctly, you could end up bottlenecking your system, your game could lag, your stream could stutter, and nobody wants that. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, we're gonna look at the best CPU and GPU combos that you can get right now. Broken down into different budget levels, so that you can find the right setup no matter how much you wanna spend. As much research as I've done to determine what the best CPU and GPU combos are for streamers, for the most part, it is very, very heavily dependent on your budget. Now, obviously, if you want to play the latest and greatest AAA games at 4K at 240 frames per second, stream it at the, the exact same time, you're gonna need something a little bit more powerful. There's only so many computers that can do that. But at the end of the day, if you want to play with settings enough, if you want to tweak things a little bit, if you're playing some of the less demanding esports titles, you can get away with streaming at a lot lower budget. That being said, spending more money, getting a more powerful computer is never going to be a bad thing. I kind of want to break this down budget wise so that you can hopefully figure out what exact kind of computer you need to be able to stream at the level that you want to. So pull up a stool, let's dive in to the best CPU and GPU combos right now. Cheers for watching this video and a special cheers to all of the subscribers of this channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers and I couldn't thank each and every single one of you more. It means the absolute world to me that you are here in this pub with me and enjoying these videos. Cheers. All right, but before we dive full on in, let's answer the big question first. Which one is more important, the CPU or the GPU? Now, if you are building a gaming specific PC, most people will recommend allocating about 40 to 50% of your budget to that GPU. The GPU is going to be the most important thing. But when you're streaming, your CPU needs to be able to handle multiple tasks at the same time. Think about OBS, Discord, Spotify, all of those other applications running in the background. This means that you'll want a more balanced approach when you're addressing your streaming PC, ensuring both your CPU and your GPU are up for the task. Now let's break it down into different price ranges so that you can find the perfect combo that meets your needs. Now for gamers who want that solid performance without breaking the bank, this combo is going to handle most popular games, especially those esports titles. If you're playing something like Valorant, Fortnite, League of Legends, Counter-Strike, this PC is going to be perfectly capable of playing this game and streaming it at the same time. For a full build that includes a combo like this, you'd be looking at hopefully less than $800. Anywhere between that six and $700, depending on where you live, depending on where you get your parts, and depending if you're able to put them together yourself or not. For the CPU, I recommend the Intel i5 12600KF. Right now at the filming of this video, price right at $139. This CPU gives you excellent value for gaming and streaming, especially at these entry levels. As far as the GPU goes, my hot take favorite graphics card in this price range right now is the Intel Arc A770. I actually just built a PC for my daughter with this graphics card and it's been performing really, really well right now. For around that 269 right now, for 16 gigabytes of VRAM, this card is gonna handle that 1080p gaming very, very well. If you're okay with waiting a couple weeks for maybe a driver update for a new game that comes out and it's only getting better. This card also has the best support right now for that AV1 encoding. If you're planning on doing any video editing, any streaming specifically to YouTube, Twitch is a little bit behind the times right now, but they're gonna be following up soon. This is going to be an absolute ideal low cost option for streaming and content creation 
content focused PCs. As for the Nvidia route, if that's the way that you wanna go, I recommend the something like the 4060 Ti right now. That's closer to that 375 new right now. But if you are comfortable buying used, you can get way more power for less money in something like a 3070 or maybe even a 2080 Ti could be a very, very solid choice for this machine. Now, here's another really, really great question. Should you be buying and building a PC now or should you be waiting? Now, I just wanna get something out there right away. I've always been a fan and proponent of buy now. If you end up waiting, you're always going to be waiting. There's, with technology, there's always something new right around the corner. If you wanna be gaming and you wanna be streaming, get that PC now, it's going to work just fine for you. The NVIDIA 5000 series of graphics cards isn't still expected until the beginning or even middle of 2025. And they typically release their ultra high-end graphics cards first. So if you're looking for a GPU under $1,000, I would definitely recommend buying now. And as far as the AMD 8000 series graphics cards, we don't know anything really about when those are gonna be coming out. And to be honest, Nvidia graphics cards have been superior as far as the streaming category goes, solely because of their MVENC encoder. Now, if you're wanting to play some of those games at either higher resolutions, playing some of those super AAA games while streaming at 1080p, getting that high FPS, higher settings, this build might be closer to what you are looking for. Now, I do want to put out there the big disclaimer about the 13th and 14th generation Intel CPUs. Those are the CPUs that I'm going to be talking about in the upcoming combos. As far as everybody can tell so far, the issue has been pretty much pinpointed and fairly addressed in the microcode updates that Intel has released last month. So still, please do your own research, do your own reading, look it up, make sure you are comfortable purchasing one of these CPUs. If not, there are a ton of AMD alternatives that we, can, we will talk about at the end of the video, as well as new Intel Ultra CPUs that are going to be releasing most likely sometime next year as well. But if you do get one of these CPUs, make sure you update your motherboard BIOS as soon as you get everything put together. You don't want to be using these with the old micro code, that is for sure. This is also one of those reasons why you might be able to snag a 13th or 14th generation CPU just a little bit cheaper. I would be a little bit weary about buying those on the used market, but anything that's still new in the box should theoretically still be okay. All right, so for this combo, we are going to go with the Intel i7-13700KF. This CPU is listed on Amazon right now for $209. This is going to provide so many cores for streaming, gaming, content creation, video editing, anything that you can dream of. And right now is only a generation old. Again, as long as you update that micro code, you should be good. Now, along with this processor, I recommend the NVIDIA RTX 4070 Super. Priced just under $600 right now, this GPU offers fantastic 1440p performance, ensuring absolutely smooth gameplay and some serious streaming, especially if you're encoding down to 1080p. Now the total cost of a computer to put this combo in it should be around that $1,000 to $1,300, depending again on where you live, what sales tax looks like, and how crazy you wanna get with your case and some of the other details, could be a little bit more. But with this setup, you'll definitely be able to stream and game at 1080p, 1440p, which is perfect for streamers who want those higher frame rates, as well as wanna play some of those AAA games like Cyberpunk, Elden Ring, Hogwarts Legacy. Not to mention plenty of power to handle multiple tasks like video editing or graphic design needs. 
This is honestly the bundle that I recommend for most people. Now for professional gamers, streamers, and people that just have some extra money to throw around, this is what I consider a very high-end machine. This is going to get you some of that maximum performance at 1440p and even 4K, depending on the title. For the CPU, I recommend the Intel i7-14700K. Coming in at right above $300, that is a steal for this processor and gives you even more power and efficiency than the 13th generation, making it perfect for multitasking between streaming, gaming, and content creation. For the GPU, I recommend none other than the NVIDIA RTX 4080 Super. Priced right around that $1,000, this GPU delivers insane 1440p and 4k performance with plenty of vram for those demanding games now a machine total for a combo like this is going to be definitely well above that 1500 mark probably closer to 2500 dollars and again for most people if you're spending this kind of money this is a well overpowered and future-proofed machine I would guess that you're probably going to be spending a little bit more on the power supply, a little bit more on the case and some of the aesthetics. This could easily become a $2,500 machine. But with this build, you won't need to upgrade for years and you'll be able to run even the most demanding titles um, at really, really high settings for a very, very long time. Now, before we get to the absolute last, most insane combo that exists right now, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate you. And if money is just not a concern for you and you want to build the absolute best, top of the line, doesn't get any better than this machine right now, this is the machine for you. The Intel i9-14900K. Right now, Amazon has them listed for $419. This CPU is as good as it gets right now. You can't find a processor that is better at gaming, streaming, video editing, and content creation. Coming in at 24 total cores, this is going to run the most demanding streaming and editing and gaming software that you can find. As for the GPU, we are going the same direction with the RTX 4090. The ultimate GPU, right at about $1,700 right now, this card offers absolutely unparalleled performance, 4K gaming, streaming, with its 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Now for a machine like this, you're looking at $2,300 to $2,500, most likely just for the GPU and CPU combo. The rest of the machine, you're probably going to be spending at least $1,000 more. If you want to go all out with a custom water cooling loop, this would be the build to do it. And you're probably going to spend another $1,500 to $2,000 on the rest of the machine. Um, I would look to spend total three to $5,000 on a total computer like this. Now this is a build for somebody that might not even care about future proofing, they just want the latest and greatest and money is no object. Now obviously worth the honorable mention, there are some AMD combos that are worth mentioning. For those of you that don't want to be on the Intel or the Nvidia team, something like the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X is one of those fantastic CPUs that is definitely capable of streaming, gaming, and content creation. Paired with something like a 7900 XT, a 7900 GRE, or even a 7800 XT, AMD is definitely becoming more competitive in the price and performance categories when it comes to streaming and gaming. Nvidia might have the edge on streaming because of the NVENC encoder, but AMD definitely has the edge when it comes to a purely gaming focused PC. Now, no matter your budget, these CPU and GPU combos offer great performance for both gaming and streaming. Whether you're just starting out or looking to upgrade your setup to the absolute max, there's a combo here for you. Now, no matter your budget, these CPU and GPU combos offer great performance for both gaming and streaming, but 
It always depends on exactly what you're doing, exactly what game you're playing. And do you know the secret formula for figuring out if your computer is capable of streaming and playing a specific game at a specific time? If you don't, I made a video about it right over here. Make sure you check that one out and give that video a like too. <laughs> we'll see you over there.